Hey, what's happening everybody? So welcome to today's video. Uh, in this video build series video, I'm going to be installing the insulation on the walls below the windows and putting the paneling on. So I also got my bed back here and I wanted to show you guys real quick um, how much room a full size mattress takes up in an Astro. So check this out. It fits perfectly between the two wheel wells. I've got it back pretty far, almost all the way. Ow, ow, that was my knee. Oh, that hurt so bad. Oh, God, that hurt. And it goes up, ow, that far. All right, so what I decided to use on this build after uh, a lot of trial and error and research and uh, getting lucky and having a friend give me a ton of this stuff is Thinsulate. Can you believe it? This is the stuff that you have in your jackets and shoes and pants, and whatever. Uh, this stuff is amazing. It doesn't absorb water or it doesn't hold water which is where the denim insulation failed. That was its one like big downfall is it held onto water for forever. Uh, but this stuff does not and it's extremely thin and just, just holding it in my hand like that, I can feel the warmth inside of it. So it's definitely a, a good insulator, especially when you double and triple it up. And uh, it's also really good at uh, blocking acoustic noise. It's very good at sound insulation. Uh, they use it in boats a lot now. Uh, mold does not grow on it. It's all synthetic fiber and uh, it's it's totally safe and it's extremely easy to use. All you got to do is cut it and put it into place and this stuff is great. There's I discovered this from a video here on YouTube which I will hopefully link in the description. I forget If I forget, please remind me. I do that a lot. I'm trying not to but I, I slip up a lot. So uh, yeah, this stuff is just great. It's totally safe. It's like a, it's like a pillow for your face if you want to be. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to cut it up and uh, put it into place and you can glue it on or I don't like using the glue because I don't like the vapors and stuff that come from that. So I'm just going to use some good old Gorilla Tape and uh, glue this stuff on, put it in place and uh, set in the panels. Let me show you how I do this. All right. So you see I've got these cavities in here, which uh, I'm going to double and triple up with um, the insulation. I'm going to stick this up here out of my way. Try not to scratch my beautiful window tint. Thank you, Cody. And um, yeah, so I'm basically just gonna cut this stuff and wedge it in here, and then I'm gonna do one final layer, maybe two, over the top. And then my uh, my Luan, I decided just not to paint this with the fancy colored stuff, because you're never gonna see it, it doesn't matter. And then because windows, um, you, I am gonna get condensation on here eventually, I know it. So I'm gonna create some kind of little little channel for it to uh, to funnel into where it can just sit and evaporate the next day um, when and if I do get uh, condensation. So yeah, right now it's basically just cutting this stuff up and fitting it in there. And uh, yeah, let's do it. Now insulation is to slow down the transfer of temperature and noise, but it's basically, uh, it just slows down the transfer. That's the, that's the whole point of it. So that's what I'm using it for. And I'm actually gonna double this up. Yeah, I'll double it up and stick it in like that. Now, when you've got an all metal body like this, <clears throat> metal is such a good conductor of heat that it's so important to insulate everything metal and not only for condensation, but just, just for heat. Um, it's amazing the way I had this thing before, the parts that weren't insulated, that were bare metal. When it's sitting out in the sun, you can feel the heat just coming straight off the metal, even when it's double like this, because this isn't the outside piece. There's, a, there's two pieces, but just in between these two metal pieces is like a little oven. So that's, that's the other reason why I'm going to um, cover everything metal, and I don't know what I'm gonna use yet. In fact, I was gonna ask you guys, I found out that vinyl is uh, extremely toxic. So I don't want to use that in here. Um, I got to find something else. And I was wondering if you guys had any ideas on a uh, non-toxic material that I can use to cover all of my, uh, all my metal. I want something really thin and flexible, very similar to vinyl, but non-toxic. So if, if you have any ideas, please let me know.
Whoever suggested knee pads to me is a genius, by the way. Okay. Beautiful. Now this duct tape is just kind of holding this stuff in temporarily because when I put the, the Luon over it, it's going to hold it all in anyway. This is basically just holding it in place until I get the Luon on there. So I've got the uh, insulation up in place. That was super, super easy. This stuff is extremely easy to work with. Now I left it a little long down here so that I could kind of bunch it up a little bit. Okay, so now what I need to do is remove this duct tape. Get it exactly how I want it. And I forgot to grab the drill. But basically, I'm gonna see where I can drill in, and it would be really smart to mark my holes, and then get a really small drill bit, and drill pilot holes in there, and um, then get some short metal screws with a flat top, and drill the sucker in. But I don't want this stuff popping over the top like that. So, yeah, that's what it's going to look like. It's okay that it sticks off down on the bottoms and stuff because you're not going to be able to see that. All right, so I had to uh, ride my bike down to um, Home Depot and get some screws and drill bits because I couldn't find it either anywhere. But I'm ready for action now. So I'm going to get this side drilled in, doing the process I just mentioned of uh, drilling a small pilot hole and following it up with a screw. So I'm going to put this thing exactly how I want it. Make sure that everything is perfect. All right, that looks good. Now I'm gonna choose a spot that's not exactly in the middle. Oh, you know what? I almost missed a step. I need to keep track of where all the holes in here are. And do that, I'm gonna get a Sharpie. I'm gonna mark all the screw holes because there's lots of spots in here where if I drill through, it's just going into empty space. So that is an important step for me. All right, so I got my Sharpie now and not only am I gonna mark the spots on the top where I wanna drill in, I'm also gonna do some on the sides and the middle, and I'm gonna just mark where the, uh, where the good places to drill in are. And there's not many, wow. Over here there's nothing. Okay, so now I'm going to hold 
this perfectly in place so that I don't lose my spot. I don't want this thing to shift at all. And I'm gonna screw this one in and this one's gonna hold the whole thing in place. Double check, make sure it's all lined up. Yeah, that looks good. Okay. All right, now the rest I can just drill or I can do the pilot hole and then, uh, then the screw. All right, so that side looks good. It's nice and sturdy. And I decided not to wait until I got the other paint to go over this. Um, Cause you're not, you, nobody's ever gonna see this piece right here. Uh, this is mainly to, as insulation and to hold in the insulation. They give me something nice and flat as a backdrop for the, uh, the drawers and stuff that are gonna go here. Not drawers, but it's gonna be a lift. Whatever you call like from the top down kind of thing. So now this side, which is going to be the exact same process, so I'm not going to show this whole thing uh, unless I come up with some uh, something I feel like I should tell you that I didn't show you on the other side. But that side looks great, and it's much more insulated now than it was. Uh, this might not be the best type of insulation, but um, it's definitely better than the Just Reflectix I had before. It's definitely better than nothing, and uh, it's definitely better than fiberglass or denim or anything else and it's much thinner than um, polyiso or whatever type of foam so it's a uh, very happy with this so yeah I'm gonna get started on this other side Woo! oh one more thing um, for the floor what I'm planning on I really want your help with this because somebody out there has got to know more about this than me but the floor what I was thinking about was half inch polyiso really thick uh, or really rigid foam uh, just straight on the floor so that the bottom stays the bare metal so that there will be a little bit of an airspace and water can move around if it has to and um, Just in case it leaks again, it's not but just in case <clears throat> And then on top of that I was gonna try to find somewhere with some kind of discount um, Like bamboo floor some kind of hardwood something that's hardened I, I experimented with some one type of bamboo floor and it was easy to scratch with just my fingernail I definitely don't want that but if I can find something that's hard and beautiful and cheap, uh, as far as hardwood floor, that would be awesome. And then I can just put a carpet over the parts where I will be uh, barefoot. So let me know what you guys think about that. If you have hardwood floors in your van, um, let me know how you like them. If you wish you would have done it differently. And it's going to be floating. There's not going to be any glue. So I know I got to leave some space for it to expand and swell and everything. I also looked in the cork, which looks awesome, but it's so soft and it's got to deal with water that you have to like refinish it every once in a while and stuff. I don't want to deal with that. Um, so yeah, hardwood, hardwood floors. Let me know what you guys think. Woo! All right, so I only have so much of this stuff left and I want to make sure that I have one piece that goes over this whole side. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut that piece first and then the rest of what I have left, I know I can just have a free for all and fill in all these smaller spots and double it up. So what I'm gonna do is just lay this stuff out, figure out exactly how long I need, and then cut it out. All right, so I know I need this long, so now I'm gonna find something straight to lay this on and make sure I get a really straight cut, and uh, that'll be good. And this will be a double layer too, so this will be, this will be awesome. All right, so I've got it laying flat, and I've checked to make sure that this thing is in fact straight. It's perfect on this piece of wood, so I'm just going to cut it like this. I just want to make sure it's a straight cut and halfway through I don't end up uh, getting all crazy with it. Yeah, this side's the thicker side too. I've got two different um, thicknesses of this stuff. This is definitely the thicker one. A very special thanks to my friend who gave this to me who uh, wishes to remain anonymous. Thank you. All right, there it is. 
I am so happy with this stuff. I love it. All right, which piece is which? All right, so I have all the insulation behind this panel now, and I've got to cut out the holes for this to go through. So what I did is I just lined this up and looked at it, and I could see, so I drilled the, the this is hard to do with one hand, but I drilled this first hole right here. So now what I've got to do is pull this down and I'm going to stick this bolt through it and through the first hole. Let's drill this just a tiny, tiny bit small. And now I get this nice and squared up and now all I got to do is drill through these two holes and it'll be perfect. And then bam, I can bolt this thing up on this side and that'll hold the whole thing in place perfectly. And then I can start drilling my pilot holes along the top. Um, the one thing, if you remember from the episode where I was cutting out the templates, inside of here is a little thinner. That's okay. I'm just going to leave that open like that so it can breathe for now. Uh, this whole top part's going to get covered up with something else later. Okay, so I've ran into my first problem. The screws that go in here are not long enough to make it through this plastic tab and the Luon. But I've got a perfect uh, traceable template here. If I can get a, some kind of marker or something that's small enough, I can trace the square out and then I can get a, uh, probably even just cut this with a razor blade. Yeah, that's probably what I'll do. Uh, if that doesn't work, then I'll use the uh, jigsaw. All right, so I've got these perfectly traced out. I used a little, uh, little Sharpie for that. Let's see if this is gonna cut all the way through. Um, yeah, this is going to take forever to do it this way. So I think I'm going to bust out the jigsaw on this real quick. All right. So here it is. That side is in and that side is in. Remember when I said, oh, I'll, I'm sure this thing fits just fine. And I didn't take those things off. Well, guess what? It's just a little bit higher on this side than it is that side. It's not perfect, but you won't be able to see it anyway. So whatever. But uh, let that be a lesson. Don't take, your, don't take your own word for it. Definitely test fit everything. Make sure everything is perfect. And I am not going to um, paint these over. I'm just going to leave them white. So it's getting dark outside, but the very last step I'm going to do today is wedge the remainder of the uh, fencelate that I have in this cavity up here. I'm going to try if I can... I broke like three of those drill bits, man. These things don't buy these... Uh, what are they, Ry Ryobi? Yeah, Ryobi drill bits. They were, it's like five bucks for this pack, but I broke like three of them already. I have three left that that one might work to take these out. And then I got some uh, screws up here that I drilled in previously. I'm gonna pull those out too. But yeah, just this tab, this tab, this tab, and this tab. I'm gonna try to rip those out real quick. All right, so those guys came out no problem. Just drilled out the little, uh, little pop rivet there and uh, just pried on it. And they pulled right out. Everything's clean up here now. There was a little surface rust on the bottom of a couple of them. Uh, I'm not sure what that's from. I don't think it was leaking up here. Yeah, the rest of the night, I'm just going to uh, fill up this whole gap with, uh, what was I calling this stuff? Uh, Thinsulate. And uh, I'll probably call it a night because my back is a little sore now. Um, so next video, we'll definitely be working on the, uh, the ceiling. And this is, I'm still not exactly sure how I'm going to do it because now I gotta cut out the fan while it's already up in there. But I will figure it out, so uh, I'll see you guys next time. Love you, sir!